Yo, what's crack a And It's episode five of The Skeptic and the Dude. Yeah, what's up? I, I put an emoji on the screen by accident. Nice. <laughs> it's come to this, hasn't it, Joel? Zoom. Yeah, it has. Didn't, Here didn't we were. Think. Yeah, that's right. We, we weren't thinking it'd have to come to this. Here we were thinking that it's, you know, we, oh, yeah, lockdowns, yeah, okay. I, I guess it'll happen eventually, but oh, you know. Yeah, but here it is. It's here. here it is. Going insane in these four walls. That's it, man. You know, just going through every day. Mm, well, you know, Doing and Anne Frank and um, the Jews she was hiding with, they were hiding in an attic for about 700 days, you know. And all we're yeah. asked to do is to survive in a house with internet and TV. So, you know. Yeah, all the technology <laughs> in the world. Yeah, that's it. So. But we do need to make sure that we're looking out for each other and staying staying safe. Yeah. 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 And hopefully, you know, the mic qualities and everything is bearable. Because yeah. And, there's and, not much we can do about it. That's right. Exactly. Yeah. So, how have, to... have you been, man? What's been, yeah. what's been popping? Yeah, yeah, not not much, you know. I I wake up. That's about it, you know. That's why I think it's been happening. <laughs> no, no, you wake up. I wake you, up. You, you wake up to sometimes your sometimes yeah. go to the bathroom. Then I go to have a shower. Then Brandon calls me as I'm about to step into the shower. Oh yeah, yeah. We have a conversation. I stand there, patiently the waiting, running. Yep. Then we finish. I have a shower. Then I eat. Oh, were you naked then, this morning when I called you? Yeah. Oh, okay. So it was perfect timing. It was Damn, good. Man. It was good timing. It was nice. good timing. Yeah. It was so oh, in man. sync. But anyway, but um. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, you know, I, we've got so many more pickup lines to pick up girls now. You know, we've got so much in common with the girls. You'd be like, "Hey, what's up? You That's in quarantine? Right. Me too. We've got so much in common. We That's should right, like, man. Date. OMG. Yeah, exactly, man. Wow. We should like, you know, <laughs> date. But yeah, yeah, man. It's actually quite sad. <laughs> We're stuck. Oh well. Oh well. We're fine. We'll survive. Or maybe we'll try yeah. our best anyway. Yeah, but no, my days have just been yeah waking up to an alarm clock that I regret setting as soon as I wake up because I you know was up <laughs> half the night and then I, yep. I turn it off and then I go back to sleep, wake up about ten a.m. and go, yeah, okay, I guess I'll get up now. Then uh, have a shower, hit the hit the home gym. You know, I was. Uh, Yesterday, or well, a couple of days ago, I cleaned out the shed just out here and um, moved my punching bag, my heavy, my heavy bag, <clears throat> over into the middle of the room. So now I can get a couple of boxing sessions in, man. Try and get that done a couple day, few days a week, man. Get some punches in. Yeah, that's it, man. Yeah, that's good shit. That's so we got to come right? out of this ripped, man. What's the matter? Is my quality all right? Or is it grainy? Ah, there's not much. We can ah, do I think you're, you're 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 all good. <laughs> Nothing we could. Yeah, we'll come out of this rip. We'll just. Dude, man. Well, Jim, Mike. Fuck me, you got some guns, bro. Nah, not really. Not really though. It's, it's right, just a camera. Yeah, well, we got it's we got we camera. got plenty of time. We got a few months to do it. Yep. But yeah, but this is so weird, man. Like I'm, I'm like, I'm, I'm in the studio, you know. Like I got the skeptic in the dude, a shitty little makeshift sign over here. I'm, 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 I'm literally in the chair I'd usually be at. But yeah, you're not, yeah. you're not right next to me here, man. It's a, it's, it's, a, it's a very different, you know, experience. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. It's the Zoom. I'm experience. here. I'm just. You're just, you know, a few k's away down the road. Yeah. Yeah. We're not allowed to leave and oh, see man. each other. No, it's it. and, and maybe maybe that's for the best. I mean, I've got a uh, bit of a cold at the moment, a bit of a cough. It's not Corona, yeah, I don't me too. think. Yeah, me and too. it's but it's just it's just an Oops. annoying cough that just won't go away. But it's the only symptom I've got. What are you applauding? Yeah, <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> what are you um, pressing? What are you? Pr oh, reaction. <laughs> yeah, I didn't mean to. <laughs> oh, that's so cool. Are they the only reactions we've got? <laughs> yeah, I think so. <laughs> is that how they? Is that how they do it? And then you have to pay for the rest. Yeah, probably. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that but, makes um, sense. That's what they get. Yeah, this is just yeah, a free version, guys. So if it's really shit, it might also be because we're only using the trial version. <laughs> but we do what we can. Uh-oh, we've lost Joel. I can't hear Joel. Joel. 
Joel? Uh oh, I think we've lost Joel. Hang on. Joel? Uh oh, I think we've lost Joel. I can't hear him. He's frozen. Oh, God. Does he know he's frozen? I mean, he's frozen and he's smiling like he's having a good time, but like, in fact, maybe he's talking to me right now and everything's completely fine and I just seem like I'm talking to myself. But you guys can see this, right? This ain't, this ain't good. Or maybe you can see what, I've got no idea. Uh-oh, spaghetti Oh, All right, I better just stop recording. Oh, fuck, he's gone. Hey. What happened there, man? I lost you. Don't know. You just, it's... You just went frozen. The power of Zoom. <laughs> Hang on. Did you say the power of Zoom or the power of Zoom? The there was like power a, there was, of Zoom. There was like a there was like a pause there. <laughs> I thought it was about to lose you again. Yeah, it might. Mm. For everyone it's watching, good. we um yeah, I've lost Joel multiple times now. From his yeah. computer lagging and just little little yeah, IT I don't know problems. What happens. I think Zoom just like not that Zoom's bad. I don't want them to come after. Me oh no no no! We love we but, love um, Zoom. We love we're Zoom. Just get, but, we're just um, getting used to you. It just lags my computer out so bad that my <laughs> audio is bad, and then my whole computer just shuts down. It's I don't yeah. know. I don't know if it's Zoom. Probably Can't not, explain it. Know, oh well, we if Zoom it. doesn't work, we'll we'll move on to Discord. But for now, we'll we'll, we'll stick to Zoom. <laughs> Mm. But yeah. Yeah. Oh man. But anyway, what are we talking about? Um, surviving isolation. Yeah. Yeah. There's so not yeah. much to it. Yeah. See, like, I, I honestly, I don't think I'm really gonna have too many symptoms of cabin fever just because I'm finding like, like, there's just so much I can do, you know. So like, I'm focusing on, you know, working out every day and you know, just keeping the mind occupied, oh man, you know. Yeah. Flaws. Maybe stop doing the emojis. Maybe that's causing the. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, true. That could, that could right. contribute. <laughs> All right, no fucking emojis. Yeah. No but more yeah. emojis, bro. God damn it, man. Yeah. Oh, crazy shit, man. They were funny while they lasted. Uh... Yeah. So. so <laughs> watched any good movies? You see, now, Joel and I haven't actually talked that much over the last few days, so this is more of us, you know, checking in with each other, you yeah. know? So, um, mm. yeah, what's yeah. been... What's your, movies. What's your, um, yeah, movies. What's, what you been watching, man? Uh, I've been trying to watch some good horror movies uh, recently, but I just okay. can't get into them because they're so shit. <laughs> Not all horror movies are shit. I think that some of them are pretty good, but just all of them nowadays are quite mm. shit. You know what I mean? Like, I was searching around... Ooh, turn on Windows Firewall. Anyway, I was um, searching <laughs> around <laughs> uh, for movies, and I, I don't know, I just couldn't find anything decent. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I just feel like nowadays people just... I don't know. They're very, don't they're very generic, start. and they're very... Mm, yeah. Yeah. Add as many bad. jump scares as possible. Mm, and you they're not clever. Mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're not, yeah, they're just very basic, or they remake things, or... This is the other alternative. They just make it so gross and disgusting that you want to leave. Oh, yeah. And they call that scary. Yeah, like go, body scary. horror type shit and fucking yeah, an excessive tusk. amount of blood and gore. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, I get it. No. When it's suited, mm. yeah. yeah it's it, good, can, it, you, it, 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 movie, it can be used effectively, but when that's all the movie's got going for it, yeah. And it's just gross. It doesn't make yeah. it scary. It's just disturbing. Mm. Because, say, like, like for instance, movie. like Sam Raimi's Evil Dead, you know, and Evil Dead Two and all that, they were like, you know, they were like splatter, you know, splatter horror films, but they were they were funny, like they were they were meant to be, then in a way they were meant to yeah. be over the top, you know, and that was made them funny, and they weren't necessarily like super gross, but they, you know, they were just really grisly and gory, but they were fun, you know, they were they were exciting to watch and funny, yeah. you know, yeah. But yeah, but then sometimes, you know, I think like like I noticed that with like the the remake, well, yeah, the the uh, the Evil Dead they did a few years ago, that was just it was just so violent and just so far fetched that it was just you know, it was just really bad. It wasn't it wasn't wasn't a fun watch, you know, it was just Yeah, yeah. shit. They did that with uh well they over glorify things a lot. Like, mm, you know, yeah. I don't even know if that's a word, but um 
like with Saw. <laughs> you know, the first Saw movie was decent. That's right. It was good. They had a, they had a good they had a good balance of it. Like and 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 they knew what to show and what not to show. Like there were, like, yeah. you know that. Um, I've actually it's funny. I'm actually I've actually got a Saw poster right there. Uh, the girl with the reverse bear trap on. Yeah. Yeah. Now the thing. Yeah. yeah. Now that's the thing. Now it, it, when she when she was wearing that. Spoiler alert, it doesn't go off. She manages to get the key out of the guy's stomach to, you know, take it out. But but the thing is, though, right? Like, she's Didn't wearing this reverse that. bear trap and she gets out before it opens. So it's supposed to, you know, lift the jaw yeah. up and just yeah, fucking yeah, kill yeah. you, you know? Now, it was good that they didn't show that because you could just imagine how fucking horrible that would be. And, you know, and it just worked, you know, in that scene. Yeah. But, and so then I think it was, it was either Saw 4 or Saw 5. I mean, when I finally got around to watching the rest of them, they were just, yeah, they just tried to, you know, that they, they showed you what that trap actually would look like, you know, with on a person. Yeah, they just, and it was just it, like, you know. why, why do I need this? You know, it, it's that fucking thing of torture porn. It's just fucking, it's just sick. Yeah, they got the they got the wrong idea, like of the whole thing. Like, hmm. um, when Saw went off, you know, I think the same thing happened with Wolf Creek. Hmm. You know, it went off. It was really good, and then for some reason they get the wrong idea of what people want and then they just yeah. add more glory kills. You know mm. what I mean? And then they just make it 10,000 times more gory. And I think that's what people want. And then when you yeah. watch it, you go, this is not even good anymore. It's just, you guys are just making it fucked for the sake of being. Fucked, yeah, exactly. You know I mean? Yeah. <laughs> it's, yeah, yeah it's, just, just, it's just, it's just, yeah, it's <laughs> just as, you know, and not a lot of things like, I don't know. I feel like I'm very desensitized to a lot of it anyway, yeah. but, um, Sometimes the curiosity takes the, uh, or it gets, it gets the better of me because I don't know. I went searching for some movies and then I, then I ran into what was it, Tusk. I was telling yeah, you about, yeah, 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 yeah. Blah. it wasn't the, the whole idea of the film's stupid. It was stupid. The whole thing was dumb. It was just the end product. Yeah. yeah, Blah. yeah. <laughs> Blah. Well, <laughs> when I too. saw that, I was like, Oh hell no. Nah. I was like, okay. Close. That's some human centipede type yeah. stuff. I don't like that. That's, I don't know. When I want to mm. get scared, I want it to be like scared, not disgusted. I don't know. Mm. I, I'm not scared of it. It's just, I when I see it, I, I want to throw up. Yeah. And I don't, you know, that's not the sensation I'm looking but for. But I, I, I guess that kind of is, that, that, that is like another horror element, but, but yeah, it's, 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 a, it's a hybrid. It's a, it's a sub genre of, of horror. That's just like, it's it's the it's it's a certain audience you know that enjoys you know a really gross kind of you know cathartic just blood and gore yeah, and everything yeah. you know so like it's the same with like violent films you know so like sometimes you know violence in movies that it can be it can be very weak like the way it's used it's it's just used you know in a cathartic sense it's just it, sometimes it's just used for the sake of it you know it's just kind of a, an easy way out but when it's used well you know, it can be yeah. really effective when it's, when it, when it's done yeah. in a manner that's, yeah, that, that, especially like when it's realistic, like it, like it's kind of, you know, and it's quite, you know, and, 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 and when it has consequences, you know, like, like think of like, like in taxi driver, you know, like that end that really violent, you know, climax, you know, mm. it's, it's not, I don't, I don't really <clears throat> consider it really that cathartic because there's a lot of consequences for what he's doing and he nearly fucking dies doing that. You know, it's like, like, I don't know. It's interesting. Violence and like, what's the blood and gore. Mm. I think the main thing I have a problem with, with is like when it crosses that line, I don't yeah. know. You know, you know, that line of body horror when it starts yeah, yeah, crossing, yeah. like, like there's movies that could have been better with some gore. Like, I don't know if you've seen the venom movie. It was pretty good. But it looked like it was missing something, and that thing that was yeah, missing yeah. was all the blood and gore that was cut out of it. And I think that would have made the movie so much better because it oh, looked that, like it did, was missing. Oh, yeah, that rings a bell. It was meant to be R. Yeah, there was. Yeah, was that's right. Rated R. And they cut shit out of it. Yeah, because it was only and like fucking rated M, wasn't it? In the now. end. Yeah, yeah, because yeah. it looks horrible yeah. now. Mm. I thought it was still good. I thought it was pretty good. I just want to see that director's cut where it has all the bits mm. that we would have seen. That would make the movie so good. Yeah, but, yeah. Because um, yeah. I'm not saying like, that as like a you know over gore it but mm. it needed that because yeah. you know it's it's, yeah, so some, it's like some, some some gore is good you know like you know yeah. it's just it's just about how it's used but like exactly yeah that's what i mean yeah. yeah you just reminded me um another film that i thought was kind of a little uh too understated and you know was um in the dark night 
You know when um, the Joker sticks the blade in the guy's mouth and fucking kills him? There was no fucking yeah. blood. You didn't see any blood. Yeah. It just, you yeah, know, it was yeah. like, you, you know, I kind of feel like, you know, it would have been nice to have seen maybe some, you know, I don't know. Like, or even like yeah. Fight Club. Fight Club has, you know, a, a you know, good use of violence in that with like, I was just thinking like, you know, that scene where Edward Norton's beating himself up to make it look like the boss is doing it. And there's just all mm. these, you know, he's, he's bleeding at the nose and all that shit. And he's, and he's crawling over all the fucking broken glass and it's all really, yeah, cool. yeah, yeah. you know, and when Jared Leto gets beat the fuck up and his face is all fucked. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I feel like someone who does the violence in the gore, right. is Tarantino. Like, I think he really knows how to do it right. Mm. If you know what I mean? Yeah, I don't know. In my Especially, in my opinion, I think he knows yeah, how to yeah, yeah. make it right. But see, that's the thing though. In Reservoir Dogs, a lot of people, although there are a few people, like even uh, Wes Craven, director of mm-hmm. Nightmare on Elm Street and a bunch of other fucking horror films from the eighties, the seventies, he he walked out of Reservoir Dogs during that ear, that ear cutting scene. Really, it was because he he doesn't he doesn't like. He's, he's he was just very. Yeah, he he doesn't like blood and and that he was just yeah that yeah. that be kind of freaked him out. But yeah, but uh, yeah, I feel like he he does have a good use of violence in it. But then again, I felt like in Kill Bill, yeah, it's a little yeah. a, a little a little extreme. <laughs> yeah. Like like I mean like yeah. I can say like yeah, yeah okay that that makes sense. But but at the same time I'm kind of feeling like I was kind of like yeah this is just you know I don't know. It's yeah. just it's yeah, just fun I, yeah. to watch, but that's the thing, though, because because like he says about you know we we all love we love to watch violence. It's fun, like yeah, you know, <laughs> because I guess that's where yeah, it's Kill true. Bill it's like John is. Wick, you know, yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah, as as many stunts and as much action as possible, you know. But I guess that's and what like, you get when stuntmen make a film. Yeah, glory kills and stuff. <laughs> I don't know. In it's it's weird because in like even in John Wick, no matter how bad the kills would be, I found myself laughing at some of the stuff. Yeah, okay. It, yeah. It's weird. I don't know. Like when the horse like poof, like kicks the dude, I thought that was kind of funny. Like, or when it just got so like violent, it was so right though. You know what I mean? I don't mm. know how to describe it. It's it's it's. I it was, don't know, it I don't was, know how it to was, describe my I feel like opinion. It was stylized, it. I guess. It was very much like yeah. a, like especially in the first one when he's running around doing his jujitsu stuff, like and rolling on top of bodies. It was very like everything was very synced. It was like, yep, yeah, okay, he's going to roll that guy. He's going to break that guy's neck. He's going to shoot that yeah. guy. And then he's yeah. going to use this guy as a shield, you know? Yeah. So like, it's really fun yeah. to watch because it's, yeah, it's, it's, yeah. it's choreographed like so well, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Cause it, you think about the violence in those movies and you know, we, we like that kind of stuff. And even if that was a bit gory, you know, that'd be fine. Like Deadpool was gory and stuff, mm. but um, I think what I'm, trying to say with like crossing the line is when you get into the territory of just carving people up and just con like and seriously yeah. going into detail with it and then getting into the really gross bits like as in human centipede that's that's my example well, that's just of a fucked up thing from being the start too you far know? <laughs> that's yeah. that's yeah but that's my example of being too far when it comes to that kind of stuff yeah you know what i mean for me that just makes me really sick mm. but like I don't know, gore and Deadpool and stuff, you know, when he just goes, the dude splatters into the sign and just see guts and everything. I was, I was fine with that, but I don't know. I think it's just the, yeah. Hmm. <laughs> I, I don't a, know how to there's, describe there's, 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 there's a line, you know. But that's yeah, like once it crosses that, that line, there's that moderation. really fucked up territory, then yeah. that's, that's when it becomes a bit too much. Hmm. But yeah. Yeah, so like one know, film that, think, that really disturbed yeah. me as a kid was, an American werewolf in London, especially that opening scene where Jack gets fucking killed by the werewolf like that. Yeah. Just that, that scarred me, man. That was because like, it was just so, you know, like, cause then, cause like it was, it was a lot of it better. was like what you didn't see. Cause yeah. like, I don't know when yeah. John Landis yeah. was getting, uh, what was his name? Ted Baker, I think to, um, who was, you know, making the werewolf. He was telling him, you know, that when we're filming this, I want to show it. And then I don't, but like, you know, I want to show just glimpses of it. And even then I don't want to show it, you know, like it's, it's very much about the, where the imagination takes you. And that was really effective because I was fucking thinking of this werewolf as being fucking, you know, 10 feet. There's just this big, massive fucking thing, you know, and, uh, we only seeing close ups and they're like split second little shots. 
And then when the fucking villagers all come out and shoot the fucking thing and then it turns back into a human and you see the guy <sighs> breathing, it's got these big fucking bullet wounds and all this smoke coming out. And I was like, ah! you know. But yeah, I, that's the that's the play of the art of the unknown. You know mm. what I mean? Because yeah, exactly. I think the things we're most scared of is not knowing what's in the dark. Mm. You know what I mean? Like if there's a pitch black room, you're not scared of the fact that it's pitch black, you know, yeah. and someone's walking in there. You're scared of what the thing could be, and your imagination lets you let let's take like, take takes care of the whole thing. Yeah, in that kind of like situation, which you know, horror movies have done. Well, some horror movies have tried, you know, hit and miss kind of thing, like um, Bird Box, that had yeah. the right idea, but then the way it was executed know. was a little bit. Yeah, it was not. Yeah. It was not mm. the best. But then what was the other movie with John? Oh, Quiet Place. Yeah, that one. Yeah. <laughs> that would have been so good if it didn't show the thing at the very start. Well, that's the thing. Yeah, we, we you know I mean? virtually knew exactly what it was that was after them. And you, yeah. Yeah. Because then, then we knew, cause then for the rest of the movie, we know what it is. You know, if that had a bit mm. like a reveal later. Yeah, it could have been more effective. Yeah. Mm. But it was straight away. So we go, oh, that's what it is. Yeah. <laughs> it was kind of like, I don't know if you've seen Maze Runner. Oh, yeah. I, I think I recall they did that a little bit at the start. Like, they were talking about don't go into the maze because of the whatever, the you know, mm. is in there. And it's sh- like kind of built it up. And then it showed the product. And that, I think that kind of worked in a way. Yeah. Because okay. that, that, that thing was disgusting. Because they, 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 didn't, they didn't know what it was until they were there, right? Until they actually dared to. Yeah, no one's seen it and then come back. Yeah, yeah. Because they all. Like, and then yeah. they saw it and came back. And then we got to see it as well. But, mm. you know, that was kind of better. I don't know. Just not showing us straight away, like being like, okay, bam, first like start of the movie, it's there. Surprise. Mm. And then, you, then then you've got it in your head for the rest of the thing. You don't have that time to like use your imagination on what the hell it could be. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I feel like so, horror movies should just have better storylines. Mm. Yeah. Well, so like, <laughs> I, like I, I, I like, I like, like, um, you know, especially like ghost stories and like, you know, with demons and that. So like, I thought like the conjuring was really effective because while it was an old school, like a uh, subject matter, you know, a haunted house, you know, and then they go deep by saying, yeah, that it's a witch and would kill anyone on its land and anyone who ever you know, lived in it would kill themselves, all that kind of stuff. It's re- this really dark past, like, like another, another kind of like, you know, another Amityville type of thing. But the thing was that, that I find fascinating about those types of movies is that, you you never underestimate the power of evil in it because like the the supernatural like it's so much more than we can understand and because it's not some it's something that you know that it's not something that's definitely exists or that we don't we don't know you know like there's there's always going to be people who are skeptical people who believe in it and whatever so like that i find that really effective because like you know, it's it's not like you're just running away from the man in the you woods. Have lost me again. You know, we've lost you. Oh uh, no! All right, shall we start again? <laughs> I'll be back. All right. <laughs> Good. So yeah, where was I? Um, demons and stuff. So like, I think the thing that's really effective about those types of movies is that because like, for instance in that whole movie in the conjuring, you know, there's all the, everyone's being haunted. Like everyone in the house is being haunted, you know? And, and like, and there's so many like ghosts and tormented souls. There's that main witch or whatever that's trying to get at the mum, but then there's all these other little hauntings that are going on. So it doesn't matter where you are in the house. Like even when, you know, when, when the girls are hiding in the car, they're still being, you know, um, attacked and everything by this yeah by yeah the birds and everything you know so like it's it's great because it, it's it's an invisible being you know it can it can control a lot of things it's not as scary as a man chasing you in the woods with an axe i mean they're pretty scary because in slashes they you know he, he can jump in front of you and behind you like a supernatural being but but you know like it's when you start adding you know what kind of elements of hell into it you know it's in haunting yeah with um ghost movies, I don't know. 
I, they are pretty scary, if, you know, as well. As pulled off. Like, I thought Paranormal Activity was pretty good because, you know, that feels kind of more realistic because I've had ghost experiences and stuff as well. Um, but that Conjuring one that we watched where it had the werewolf in it. Oh, Annabelle. The werewolf. Home. Yeah, yeah, that was. Oh, yeah, yeah, Annabelle. That was a mm. bit far-fetched. When you have, like, a werewolf in it, then you kind of go, Brr. oh, I'm sure a werewolf can't. Because then it's like, this is a real story, guys. Yeah, real yeah, yeah. story and then it's like werewolf attacking the people i'm like okay yeah and that was it was a ghost sure werewolf as well real. it was I'm like sure a fucking, it was real. Yeah. yeah 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 but see uh, that I, I, I don't think that one was based on anything i think real. that was that was like yeah. okay we're, we're, they, we're taking we're taking this thing that's true and now we're just gonna turn okay yeah what if someone touched everything in that museum yeah but also Pretty like i don't know the con- the, uh, these movies always say it's based on true stories, but I feel like it is, but it isn't. Like it's exaggerated. Yeah, yeah, that, that's right. Oh, definitely. Yeah. Because so, like, I, I, I believe like the um, Ed and Lorraine Warren, the demonologists in the Conjuring movies, that they, you know, that they, you know, they they were dealing with, you know, forces that are, you know, things that are, you know, inexplainable, but like. Yeah, there, there's definitely a point where in in the movies that they they exaggerate them a bit, you know, and, and that, mm. that's just how you make things more scary. I mean, like, you know, personal experience, you know, it 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 kind of um, it kind of defies, you know, what what they could actually show, you know, because something that's terrifying to you, you know, even just explaining it. You know, something that, that 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 you just can't explain. It's just so paranormal, paranormal activity. You know, like your story about you know that time uh, you thought your brother came into your room to wake you up, and it was something that just pushed you back to the fucking bed. You know, that's something that's yeah. terrifying. But okay, let's you turn that to a movie, that. and then let's start. Uh, let, let's let's make someone actually be there. Let's create like a demon scream or something. You know, there's a lot of yeah, ways yeah. you can ham it up. Yeah. Sorry. Do you know? Do you know? Do you know? What's scarier about that story. <laughs> it happened it happened to my mum a long time ago as well same thing fuck yeah that's what makes it that's that's what makes it scarier it's the same thing and she was like reading a passage from the bible or something yeah uh, that day and i think she was like i don't know dating some dude who was like religious and then i think it was like then she that the same thing happened except yeah, without okay. the the reverse talking but the same thing happened like something was pushing down in there but yeah i don't know mm. it was it was pretty scary apparently she was screaming but she couldn't scream fuck yeah okay shit well, hang, hang on oh that's right yeah it was talking backwards to you wasn't it what was it saying backwards don't get up yeah okay yeah fuck yeah that was up, get spooky. don't yeah spooky shit up, man get don't now it was it wasn't like up don't up get don't it was like I don't know. You know when you actually speak backwards and it sounds like gibberish? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was like that. It was like that. It was not like the words were arranged backwards. To it nod was like tag every... Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It, was, it was like that. It yeah, was yeah. like that. Fuck, man. Was... Scary shit, dude. <laughs> it was pretty spooky. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, Ooh. I don't know. Just horror movies could be better if the writing mm. was better uh, they just don't cheese it so much yeah so yeah, I'd, like I'd, I'd, I'd like to make a, a horror movie one day and it'd be like something that's you know that that's kind of traditional in a sense but like it's you know what one that that's effective like it actually it scares you but it it you know it doesn't necessarily like that's not all that's going for it just the fear factor of it all you know one that's you know so like that, so that, that's what I find interesting about, you know, when, when you, when you take, cause like slashes of the eighties and that, that was really, you know, mostly of what you had. And then when they yeah. introduced Freddy Krueger into it, it was like, fuck man, he could be anywhere because it's, he's in your dreams. You know, it's a scary thought. It's something you can relate to like, Oh, as soon as I go to sleep, you know, that kind of shit, you know? And then it, yeah. Did you ever see the candy yeah, man? Yeah, yeah. No, you can't say his name five times. If you say his name five times, look in a mirror, he'll appear behind you and kill you with a hook. That's that's the the the, the folklore kind of thing goes. That's and, pretty dope. I'm gonna try that tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe just watch the movie, man, and then 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 you probably won't yeah. want to do it. Yeah, good film. But that, that that was a film that's it's it's very bloody. Like it's 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 really violent, but you know, and and does kind of get a little bit out of hand. But it's 
but it's good. You know, like it's, uh, you know, yeah, they probably could tone down some of the violence in it, but it's like, you know, it, it really just adds to that fucking, you know, thing of fear. Cause yeah. Cause that was the thing like, yeah, where, where blood and gore and that can be just terrifying and not necessarily just, you know, just used yeah, correctly. <laughs> yeah. Cause I got a, a Jordan Peele's uh, doing a remake or, or, or a, like a sequel or something. Yeah. Of the candy man. Oh, how many times have I said it? Let's not, let's stop talking about that movie with that particular person. Candy. What? Oh shit. <laughs> oh, you're applauding my joke. Good work. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Wish there's more stuff on here. Just so I could like. <laughs> you gotta pay money for, for that shit, bro. Yeah, not doing that. Just add it for the comedic stuff. I remember That's I was it. being told about Zoom. I was like, oh my god, there's so many effects on it. I was like, bro, we could just use Discord. And they're like, no, but there's so many effects on this one. And the only effects I see is bloody thumbs up or fucking wave applaud. Yeah. Yeah, that was worth the time. <laughs> and <laughs> makes my computer crash every two seconds. Nah, nah. We love Zoom. Don't sue me. But we, we love Zoom. Zoom. But we might use we Discord Zoom. if this doesn't work out. But I think it's working now. It's okay. You know, but now that Joel's things we had to cut out, I have to keep hitting stop record, so I might have to, I have to actually edit touch this. Wood. Oh well, what'd you do? You touch wood. Touch wood because you said it's working fine now. So just me too. I don't think that I don't think that's real wood. Um, cool. Yeah, yeah, fun times. Hmm. So um, yeah, I would love to do some like acting for you though. If you wanted to do a horror film, I'd love to. Maybe be the bad guy hacking someone up, or mm. no? I already played Mr. Blonde. So. That's right. Yeah, that's right. And yep, use some of that psychopathic kind of stuff to your advantage. And then you also played a victim in my uh, my radio drama, Blood Mercy. Check it out on my YouTube, Brandon Cameron. I did. You I did. Died. You, were the, you were that murder <laughs> victim. Yeah, you were strangled to death by Casey I while you were trying I don't to take a talk. piss. I was I was pissing. Do you know how many takes it took to do that pissing scene? <laughs> Oh man, I I had the smallest roll out of everyone, but w- yeah. it took so many takes to get that piss right. Because sometimes it was just like bloop 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 yep. bloop bloop bloop. No, you and Casey like, be laughing, like, carrying on. Yeah, Casey would nonstop crack up laughing. <laughs> I I tried to make the pee seem real, and then it would chop up yeah, for some yeah, reason. Yeah. And I'm like, that's not. <laughs> and yeah. I'd like whistle as well over the top of it, and then we would have to get it right. And then Casey would be, I don't know. Oh man. The real it, was, it was a bit like when we were uh, filming our Reservoir Dogs and Casey was meant to be dead on the ground. but he kept That's laughing. right. He just kept fucking Even though laughing. he was a dead guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, he's a dead guy. He's, yeah. he's only passed out. I might actually put that in here, actually. And action. Hey, look, man. You do what you want. I'll lay low for a few days. And now I'll check into a motel and I'll call Joe and... Shit. Did he fucking die on us? Huh? Sorry. You didn't even know you so sorry. That wasn't even that loud. <laughs> What's so funny? <laughs> All the time. Oh. <laughs> oh, fuck off. Every, it got to the point where we're just like, come on. Like, yeah. you have no lines. <laughs> you're, you're on the ground bleeding out. You have no lines, bro. Mm. Until later. Fucking! <laughs> He's just like yeah. Joel. I'm like, oh, bro, man. come yeah. on. But you know, oh, sorry to cut you off, man. I'll, I'll probably go to uh, get going. I got a flu shot appointment to get to, so I'll uh, talk to you soon, buddy boy. All, All right, right, we'll be back. We'll we'll continue this. And we're back. We're back. We're back in action. Completely just different. Got my sexy little. For... Oh, that's right. You, did you change your shirt too? Mm-mm. No, oh, just me. Yeah, I thought no. so. Yeah, my background or my picture just got worse. That's all. <laughs> it's getting a bit darker. Good thing I got these studio lights, man. Studio lights, bro. Whoa. <laughs> but um, yep, got me flu injection, so I'm all fucking set. Maybe Hope you don't bleed through that cold. white jumper. Well, they put it. They put a bandaid over it, so I should be okay. But, yeah, yeah. You yeah, know, yeah, yeah. shit happens. Damn. So what's been going on, man? It's been a while. <laughs> A whole forty-five like... minutes. <laughs> yeah, what actually, were we an hour. About last? Oh yeah. Uh... What, what were we talking about last? Well, acting. Yeah, that's right, acting. Mm. acting we did a bit of acting, acting, didn't we? 
we did. Yeah, we did a, a with our, our vet course. Yeah, and we um got that t- TV show. What, what do they call it? It was like like an like an excursion or like a uh, how do they word it? It was like a visit um, to set. A visit to set. That was what it was. Yeah. So yeah, through our vet course, we got a visit to the set of neighbors. 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 We said neighbors. Pretty exciting. This was uh, in our first year, the first time we went there. Fuck, man. Yeah, we, we that got was some, interesting, man. Mm, it was a good experience. We went. It was like, and like, for those of you who, you know, look at Neighbors as just another, you know, soap opera. Well, this is a soap opera. Yeah. That they have their shit together, man. They they rec- they film six episodes a week. Yeah, there yeah, is yeah. No They're soap like, opera at the moment ahead. that is. Yeah. They are ahead of everyone, man. And like, they film so much and they just go like episode to episode, scene to scene. They have, yeah, they yeah, don't yeah. rehearse the lines, right? They do well, the lines. A lot of the, the yeah, a lot of the times they're, re- they're yeah, they're literally rehearsing like, for like a couple minutes and then they are, right, okay, now we're going to do it. You know, they're, they're just, because they're so quick. Yeah. yeah they, man, got, they got their shit together, man. Hard. Yeah. Because we went there though. at about, I want to say it was about August. Or September? Yeah. yeah it, was it, was about, it, was about, it was about August. And it was cold. It was a cold night. And we went there to film an episode that was going to air on Christmas night. So this summer. is Christmas night 2018. So you're summer. So we, we came to set, uh, yeah, dressed T-shirt. in summer gear. Yeah, I was in a fucking Hawaiian shirt, shorts and everything. They were like, yeah, you can't wear jeans. No one's wearing jeans. And someone's thinking... No one's wearing pants. They, you know, yeah. Oh, there's going to be some crazy motherfuckers doing that, you know. So we thought, yeah, we were the crazy motherfuckers doing that, but no. So it was okay. They, they hand us blankets and stuff. They looked after us. And um, they were handing out. I know Joel and I, yeah, we, we, we were sitting together up the back somewhere around yeah. this little, yeah, on, on the set. And this beautiful and, um, Christmas set. This Christmas beautiful lights Christmas everywhere. Set. Yeah, because it was set. like Big us Christmas and tree. and everyone else from all the other vet clusters. So we were all clustered into this area as all these extras at this it was like a christmas concert was it yes yeah yes yes and um and yeah so joel and i are sitting up the back and we were thinking okay the camera probably won't get us too well because we're all the way up the back but there was a uh you know lady from set design was walking around with a uh a green little (laughs) uh furry fuzzy soviet union hat (laughs) <laughs> that's what i'd call it <laughs> and uh yeah, she, yeah. you know joel declined and i said you're crazy joel don't you want to you know point yourself out so i put it on so i had a sexy little gimmick for when we finally got to watch the episode which was good a good little pinpoint to know exactly where we were you know without having to identify who the fuck was Neris. and um oh man that was fun aside from you know being really cold and you and I both had chap lips. Do you remember that? Oh, fuck. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we've lost Joel again. And we're back. We're back. Good old Zoom. <laughs> Good old Zoom. No, yeah. Sorry, Zoom. We might not we use love... you again. We might have to use uh, Discord. Not because Discord. there's a problem on Zoom's end. It's just Zoom is too powerful and too almighty that Joel's laptop just can't handle it. So... It's so weak, it just crumbles underneath yeah. uh, Zoom's mighty fist. It's just, every time I load it up, it just decides to completely scuff my whole thing. Yeah, man. But uh, anyway, Christmas, anyway, Christmas beautiful so, Christmas time. Beautiful Christmas time. Joel and I are freezing to death. And uh, uh, there was, you know, it was cool though, because we got this on my, you know, do, you, do your parent, does your mum watch Neighbours? No. No, okay. Well, my mum does, and she loves it. She's obsessed with it. So when I got there, I, I recognized every single star, you know, and it was like, whoa, that's amazing. I can't believe I'm just a few meters yeah. away from, you know. And um, and one of the cast members, uh, B. Nielsen, played by Bonnie Anderson, she was performing um, a few songs that night, and they were great. Like, it was it was a really cool you know, thing to be part of because, you know, you yeah. able to see how they, how they film, you know, these types of <laughs> events and stuff. And so, yeah, she was up there and they'd like, you know, they did it multiple times. So you get all these different angles for a long and starting time. again. Yeah. So we were probably sitting there for about eight hours. 
It was a yeah. It was a long yeah. day. We were Not there even all, exaggeration. Yeah, it was all, all afternoon and then uh, till about eleven p.m. when we got out. And um, but you know, it was it was fun. You know, and uh, you know, Joel and I kept each other entertained. You know, yeah. by uh, even during know, the boredom parts. You know, that's it. Got really bored. You know, we you know just. Did everything possible to make herself not, That's it. not bored. And one of those involved um, making other cast members paranoid. No, by feel uncomfortable. Feel uncomfortable. Yeah, that 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 that's a uh, yep. So you know, multiple you know actors when they're up on the stage. You know, um, hmm. uh, the Toady he he was up there um, making a speech about something. Um, and uh you know we're all christmas christmas yay 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 yada yada and santa um, claus whatnot yeah that's right and we were sitting next to santa claus weren't we the the santa claus impersonator that was fun yeah, yeah that was miming funny. and shit doing all this miming that never made it to the final cut maybe because we were i don't know yeah but yeah, but yeah so um and uh yeah, yeah so we did it to Toadie to start off with. We we, Toadie, what we did was, didn't. we would yeah. just, yeah, it didn't really work. We just, what we would do is we thought it'd be funny to just lock eyes, like both mm. of us lock eyes directly at them and just stare mm. like into their souls kind of thing. Yeah, because that's the thing. Because yeah. when, when you look at someone and then they look at you, remember Chris Delia had a bit on this, where when you're, when you're staring at yeah. someone and they make eye contact, with the natural reaction is to look away. But a fucking boss move, is to keep that fucking, you know, yeah, 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 keep yeah, those yeah, eyes yeah. locked, man. So that's what we did. Yeah. We maybe took it a step too far, but what we were doing was, yeah. So if, if, if they caught us looking, we'd keep doing it. And then we'd be like talking to each other as if we're pointing it. And then if they like asked us about it, we'd be like, Oh, we're just you know, looking at that. Behind yeah. Them. Yeah. That Christmas yeah. deer light behind there was like thing, a, you know? Yeah. There's a huge mm. deer behind them that we thought on, was on the tree. Perfect yeah. cover mm. up. Especially, but we'd like talk to each other like we're hanging shit on them or something. That's you know? right. And so <laughs> Bonnie, oh man, Bonnie, if you're listening, yeah, we're sorry. Please don't sue us. We're probably, you know, she probably got over this. She probably, you know, might, well, look, she might not remember it at she all. Probably traumatized her, but yeah, um, maybe. Or maybe she just doesn't even realize this happened. That's it. Or maybe now that we're explaining it, it's it's you know it's it's sparking something that she thought she had repressed. <laughs> she's yeah, she's sparking a, a flashback. <laughs> that's it so anyway she's up there um yeah singing and uh, yeah we did our thing kept staring at her and then a couple times we thought i was looking at john i was like did she just make eye contact with us we're like holy shit i think you know did you just make eye contact with me <laughs> <laughs> that's it. so, so oh. yeah we're, we're just like oh yeah okay um that's amazing. You know, in this crowd, you know, in, in this amongst all these people, she's, she's noticed us. And then we just kept kind of doing it and whatever. And then, and then we started doing that shit of, Oh, and the fucking reindeer light behind her, you know? Oh yeah. Look, look at that. It looks pretty cool. Mm. Oh, look at that. Yeah. It's glowing blue and green and red Christmas lights. Yeah. But although then there was that one time she waved at us and then we thought, Did she? hang on. And then we turned around and then realized, that no, she wasn't waving at us. She was waving at someone oh, yeah. behind us, which, but we're pretty sure there was still like, you know. Yeah. But that, so, that, wait, that gave us like a heart attack at this stage because we're like, we covers been, been oh, blown. Oh, shit. <laughs> covers <laughs> covers blown. Yeah, blown. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Abort the mission. Yeah. But, um, yeah. So anyway, um, that, we, was the, that was the fun we had, um, yeah, that night. And, um, no, but, but like, but like she increasingly oh. got like more and more disturbed. Like you could see it on her face. Every time she would look back at us, she'd be like, mm. like, Oh, they're still looking at me. Okay. And then she'd look, she'd sing. And then she'd be like, glance, look, glance, look. And then she'd <laughs> keep yeah. telling that. But then the night and it just got funnier and funnier. But, uh, I don't know. Did we take it too far? Yeah. We're just fucking idiots, <laughs> but you know, we were bored, man. <laughs> we're bored. We had nothing else to do. Sorry, we're doing Bonnie, to we didn't, we didn't, we didn't to mean that. to make you, to, we didn't mean to yeah. make you so worried, but, hey, but you know, yeah. but Hey man, so that, that happened that night and was a, you know, a fun, fun thing to joke about. And then what was it <coughs> about uh, the next time, the next, the third time at OJ Simpson. No. <laughs> I uh, was just thinking that I was, about, <laughs> I was about to make that joke, but I was like, maybe not because they wouldn't oh, understand man. the joke. They'll get but, it. I watched Dave Chappelle net Netflix special. Uh, which one was it? Um, yeah. The uh, Age of Spin. 
anyway. Yeah. Um, the third time I met. Oh, oh, <laughs> the third time we met Bonnie. Nah. Uh, well, this is uh, second time. Second time. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. we we're at the neighbor set again with Vet in our second year of Vet, and um. Yeah, well, that's right. You saw it first. You saw it because we were there two days. Yep. And I, I didn't see her the first yeah. day. So this time we were doing, an, it was another like concert thing. So we were all. <coughs> Bless your soul. Sorry, man, my throat's really dry. You can, t- you tell the story. Oh, yeah. Okay. So the second day, you know, doing more neighbors things, you know, just chilling out with the cast, you know, having a ball of time. Um, and then I got to the, had to do a scene where we're at like a, a house party thingy and uh, I have to walk past and pretty sure. Yeah. Yeah. Bonnie walks past and looks at me and then she continues to walk past and then she stops and then looks at me again. Like she recognized me from the previous year. And then I kind of like, I had a mini heart attack mm. and I was like, Oh my God. And then I what, told Brandon what, what, what about these it. Fucking... <laughs> she, like she was walking just she's like oh yeah look extra wait a minute yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> backtrack look at me again like i know who you are <laughs> it was hilarious and i had to tell oh, brandon fuck, we, had a, we had a giggle about it and we're like yeah yeah all right all right that was pretty funny yeah, yeah. sure maybe it must have been you know nothing to come of it that's but it then um but then the following day you know, the some of us, day. some of us came back to do the same thing, you know, being, um, this audience or this, this crowd, these, these people attending this concert and, um, yeah, it was the same thing again. She was up on the stage singing and Joel like, fuck man, let, let's stand we'll side by side. Vu. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're thinking, oh, this yeah, is great. Deja vu. And, and you and I actually made it into the, uh, front row front because <laughs> Because we were right behind the camera. There was an actor and one of the actors was in front of me and you and me were like swaying. So you'd see like our faces either side of the guy's shoulder. <laughs> yeah, and, yeah, yeah, yeah. And the idea was <clears throat> that they were meant to make eye contact. Meanwhile, you and me, you know, the fucking weirdos behind just, you know. <laughs> and then, you know, but then, but how about when... Um, then she walked through the crowd. At some stage, and she said something, something to us. She spoke to us at some stage. Oh, that's right. Yeah, I forgot about <laughs> that shit. Yeah, that's right. That was that was on that side. So, so during the day, on that second day, yeah, they're like, "Oh, we need a couple of boys to run to for for Bonnie to to push past." And I'm like, "Okay, yeah, all right, we'll do it." And she goes, yeah, "All right, us. boys, you ready? I'm gonna push you out of the way." I'm like, "Yeah, cool, cool." And I'm looking at John, thinking, "I don't think she remembers this, man. It might be good." Yeah, you know. But there was still <laughs> kind of that clear. awkward kind of like thing of like, yeah, you know, like. I don't know. I don't know. It could have been nothing, but I I did see a bit of like, hang on, like you yeah. know what I mean, like going through the memories kind of thing. Like, who are these people? How do I know them? Yeah, yeah kind yeah. of thing. And we're just laughing. We're just having a good time because it's just so funny that we get put in the front row. You know, she's there. Whole like deja vu thing again. Mm. She looks at the backtrack. Like she backtracks when she looks back at me. Like what the hell? And then she has to push past us again. Like mm. it's, just, it's just the stars are lining up and everything. It's just the perfect story. I just had a thought tell. how funny would it be if you and I get our neighbors a bit more. I mean, after saying this, they might not allow us, but you and me being our neighbors yeah, a bit yeah, more yeah. and we'd be like, Probably like just these, this. I don't think so, but we'd be like the, just these two fucking, it would be like a couple, you know, a Bill and Ted just fucking, yeah. But we're just always extras in the background. We're like an iconic thing. Like, oh, you know, there's yeah, Bill and yeah. there's Ted. And they're always together, you know? But it's like like a weird, like... It's like a know, Where's just... Wally in every single episode. Mm. You you see us yeah. all the time. You go, oh, there they are. Cameoing mm. like usual. Yeah, one well, time we might be in the very back. One time we might well, be that, in the that, front. Well, that, that's like anyone doing extra work. They go, oh, yep, yep. There's me there for a split second. Oh, motherfuckers. They cut that shot of me. Oh, well. <laughs> but, but yeah, yeah so... Yeah. And then, so yeah, then to that night, um, a little someone. Uh, don't say his name. No, we won't say. Well, no, no, no. Uh, yeah, yeah. No, but you, you know someone, who you are. Yeah, you, yeah, you know who you are. You know what you did. You did me dirty. You did me so dirty. It was not good. Um, <laughs> what happened was um, we continue to do the concert thing and then i think bonnie went up on stage to do another song thing we 
Brandon and I are beyond this whole joke now. We're just like, whatever, it's behind us. But then the story continues because someone, you know who you are, continued the legacy to make it even weirder. Now, throughout the shooting, he would be screaming, oh, she's hot. Like, oh my God, you're so hot. You're beautiful. Oh my God. Like, he's the only person saying it. He's really loud saying it as well. And I'm like, uncomfortable like okay and then he kept doing it through takes and takes and then one of the like cast like main cast actors turns around like this female she turns around looks me in the face and goes oh i can go tell her if you want like looking at me mm. i'm really good I friends with her I'll, I'll tell her you think that way yeah. yeah she's like she's like i'm really good friends with her I'll, I'll go tell her for you and i was like first thing that came to my mind is don't you this is not a this is me. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> For starters, yeah. we've got like this whole history going on. Could you imagine that? Mm. Yeah, but, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, 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 like she, she goes there, tells the girl this week, oh, what do you look like? And then, and then, and then she goes, shows, oh, he's that like, guy, he's, he's that guy just over there. Like, and then she just has Vietnam flashbacks. Mm. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it all adds up. It just gets worse and worse. But I, I was trying to say to her, I'm like, you know, no, no, no. I, I was didn't. like, no, it was this fucking. No, man. I didn't yeah. say that. I was like, that was him. And then he, then he turns around, looks at me, and goes, "Oh, it's okay. You're not going to get in trouble." I said, "What?" <laughs> and he goes, "You're not going to get in trouble. It's okay. You said that." I said, "No, you said that. What are you talking about? Yeah. Tell her that she said that." And I'm like, "He said that." And she goes, "Yeah, yeah, sure, all right." Hmm. And he goes, "No, no, no. Don't worry, Joel. I'll take the blame. I'll take the blame for you." I said, and he, that. And he winks. And he winks at he me. He winks, and she if, sees it. And she sees it, and I'm, I'm like. <laughs> This guy is a mastermind of getting away with shit. He just, mm. <laughs> he, he just did made it, man. it look like it was me and not just made it look like it was me. He made it like 100% I yeah, said yeah, that. Yeah. Even though my voice is a lot more high pitched than, you know, someone who's clearly yeah. got a lower voice than me saying, oh, well, that's it. You don't, you don't even sound alike when you're yelling. So that was the, that was the thing that was. But he made it like 100% verified that it was me. And in her mind, she was like, yeah, he it said was it. You. he's just trying to get out of it. He's just embarrassed. And I'm like, bruh, I didn't say it. <laughs> like, anyway, I don't know if that she went off and said that. Yeah, yeah, It'd be yeah. funny if she did because then the story continues. That's it. Well, then but, um, I remember um, uh, then later that night as we were all packing up, she was like, she was leaving and she was like walking through the hall and she's waving at us all. And I was, you know, waved that I was kind of somewhere at the front. And she kind of gave me a kind of like an awkward kind of like. <laughs> she's like, ah, mm. you again. <laughs> why do these guys keep popping up whenever we need extras <laughs> how come, whenever we have a crowd setting how come these guys keep popping up and just being weirdos hey how about sultana bruh Mate. Me... so sultana that that was you know that that's it's just how we'll name. well it's his surname isn't it <clears throat> yeah but we won't yeah. say his first name because then no, we of course not. completely doxed him that's right. But, no, uh, but, he's, but this guy yeah, goes by the name Sultana. He, he, he was hanging around on the set, you know, um, and it was another, like, it was, it was kind of a chilly day we were, that we were filming. And so they were giving us blankets and that to use in between takes and that. <clears throat> and uh, it's one time he goes, <clears throat> he goes, Hey, Brandon, he just puts on this voice. He goes, Hey, Brandon, <laughs> I'm going to kidnap Joel. And then throws the fucking, <laughs> throws a fucking blanket over Joel and pulls him and Joel's like, what the fuck are you doing? And then, and then lets him out and I'm like, oh, 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 what the fuck was that? Yeah, he was like suffocating me. I was yeah. like, what the fuck? Mm. And, and then, then a bit, me, like, and then a bit later, you, you, you were saying to me, you were like, oh, so yeah, what do you think of Sultana, Brown? I said, yeah, yeah, in- interesting guy. Uh, did you, do you know him from school or something? Did you go, did you guys, you seem like pretty close. <laughs> did you know him from somewhere? <laughs> And he's like, Brandon, I've never met him before in my life <laughs> until today. <laughs> I was like, really? I've never met him ever. And he's, he's just... like, but everything he was doing to you was like, oh yeah, they, they, these guys are well acquainted. You know, these are good mates, you know. It was just awkward. And remember the, uh, the popcorn they gave us? Like, yeah, they gave they us said, popcorn. You can have some if you like, but don't eat it all. Don't like, eat all know. of it. And he mm. ate so many coneful. And he's fucking throwing it at, he's saying, hey, open your mouth. Open your mouth. And you lob it and yeah, something like, goes, Joe, Joe, open your mouth. I'm like, no, I'm not doing that, bro. And just piff it at my face anyway. I'm like, yeah, that's cool. <laughs> oh, was, man. And then someone came and told him to stop eating the popcorn as well. Yeah, that's he was right. eating too much. I think, I think, I think they said something like, um, he said, oh, here's another one. Seeing as you ate all the popcorn out of that one. <laughs> here's a fresh one. <laughs> yeah. And just kind of yeah, shook his head and walked away. Stop eating it all or something like yeah. that. Yeah. 
But anyway, that was neighbors. <coughs> so that was our neighbors um story. You know Sorry Bonnie. Sorry Bonnie, please don't not gonna lie, I, I didn't know what her name was until like afterwards, like we had to search it up. You know what I mean? Like I knew I knew of the character, but I didn't know her actual name. Yeah, okay. made sense. Yeah. But uh yeah, sorry, Soz Soz Bonnie. And and, and B <laughs> Nielsen as well. I hope our, you know, yeah. we, we didn't, it didn't affect her acting. <laughs> <laughs> Which I don't think it did. It was all good fun, you know. It was just, it was just a joke, but I don't know. Yeah. From other people's eyes, probably not been a joke. Well, hey man, they weren't there, but we were. So I we guess were. And I guess, I guess can it's you up blame to us if she, we were bored. Us. So we were bored. We had nothing to do. We, we couldn't yeah. talk as it's well. It's not like you know we I mean? killed anyone, you know. Yeah. But anyway. Yeah. yeah. But so yeah, you, that... you know, it's just it was just fun. We did it to the other actors too, just no one else gave us a better response than mm, one. like she did, yeah. Exactly. And then once we got the response, it just this the whole character arc just kept going. It was like a movie, it just kept going. Mm. We didn't intend for that to happen. A lot of these things just happened. They just you know, the stars just aligned and it just happened. You know, That's and right, just man. made it funnier and funnier. We thought it was a one time thing, like it was funny, mm. but then it just kept happening. And it just kept happening. And now we're talking about it right now. So for everyone else to enjoy. That's right. It's entertainment. It's fun. Yeah. True stories with uh, the skeptic and the dude. <laughs> <laughs> that, that was an interesting, interesting time. Yeah. I'm actually amazed. We're still recording and your computer hasn't fucked up yet. Let's not jinx it. Um, <laughs> Touching wood, bro. It's going to happen now. You just doomed us. Sorry, man. Well, at least we Fuck lasted sake. the story. At least we lasted the uh, yeah. The so we story. got through the story. You know, that was you know. So without... fuck off, <laughs> you weirdo. Oh my god. Yes, we're recording the podcast. Oh, are you? Yes, you retard. <laughs> That's what we'd be doing. Oh, you can't use the word retard on Twitch, can you? No. no. Yeah. Yeah, you can't. <laughs> god damn it. Bruh. So yeah, what else has been going on? Uh, Kenny Rogers passed away the other week. Yeah. It was pretty sad. We heard the news while we were at a fiftieth on uh, on the. Gold, I wasn't on, with him on, on the Sunshine <clears throat> Guest. No, he wasn't with me. Well, anyone who listened to the the latest, you know, the last episode, while well, the episode before, you know, a couple episodes yeah. ago, you know, I was going away yeah. to Queensland and I made it back. I forgot to say, yeah, I made it back. I made it back, everyone. Yeah. We're, back. we're back. We're alive and we're quarantined. That's right. <laughs> Exciting. You know, we could, we could have Rona. You never mm. know. But yeah, but, so Kenny Rogers died, which was pretty yeah. sad. My mum was pretty upset. And, and yeah, we were at this 50th and we're all, you know, the announcement was made and then they just started playing all Kenny Rogers hits, you know. All good fun. Sad, man. man. But sad. Sad times, bro. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. <sighs> But yeah, because you got to know when to hold them, know when to fold them, know when to walk away, know when to run. You never count your money. When you're sitting at the table, there'll be time enough for counting when the dealing's done. Oh, man. Go to just grab the guitar now and rip out a solo. <laughs> <laughs> Daytime friends and nighttime lovers. <laughs> Open one, don't discover. Yeah, dude. Damn. Damn. Damn, son. Yeah. So, how long has this been going for now? Um, I don't know. Maybe an hour. All right. I don't know. What else has been going on, man? I don't know. What else has been happening? Oh, uh, Joe Please. Biden had a um. There was a a sexual assault allegation against him a few days ago. I haven't heard of this. And it was like, but but that's the thing though. It wouldn't surprise you if you hadn't, because they had um. There was one pro. There was one program that was running with the story, and they just handed it over to the sports. It's like what? Mm. <laughs> so it was like, yeah, there was this um, this woman who. Yeah, alleged that he'd assaulted her. Um, I think it was just back in the nineties, and um, and she dobbed him into this 
this organization and and they're like their objective is uh to get at you know so that you're able to hold people accountable who are in positions of power especially like billionaires and that but they knocked it back because he's a presidential candidate so they're like, oh, no, we can't, you know, we can't do this because, because, you know, thing. what the fuck does that have to do with anything, you know? And so she, um, uh, but then it has been picked up though. But then, um, yeah, the sports section had, had taken the story. Just like, what the mm-hmm. fuck, man, you know? But yeah, so that's yeah. that. Yeah. I mean, like, but, but, you know, you just see like <coughs> some of the, talks that joe biden does he is a little a little on the uh you know creepy kind of side like just yeah. a just a smidgy like he's you know just a weird old man just like a... you know like when he's when he's touching the little, the little child in front of him like he's just you know or holding their hair back and stuff and then he gives a kid a kiss when it is like you know don't want it <laughs> but yeah, oh man yeah, yeah, he, yeah. He, he just needs to fucking go to bed you know he just needs to <laughs> he, he just needs to you know hang his boots up and go to sleep. He's an old man, man. He's, he's not cut out for fucking the presidency, man. It's just fucking, you know. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know what else has been going on in the news, man. No much, bro. I, I've, like I said, you know, I've just been kind of like stuck in this four walls, man. Not much going on. Yeah. Animal it's just, Crossing? It's just... It's just... <laughs> It's just coronavirus <laughs> stuff, man. I've been like trying to, yeah. trying to like not talk about it. Mm. Like I've had you know? like a bit of writer's block the last few days because I've just there's all that's in the media at the moment is that you know it's like there's just nothing you know. It's all, all you've got to dig a bit about. deeper. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. You know, it's just. Oh, actually, all there I, is. I, I did find out something interesting today listening to Brian Callen on the Joe Rogan Experience, the latest episode I did with him. Yeah, and he was saying how. One of them was saying how uh, in early January, they uh, China went from like, because they changed like onto a 5G network and that resulted in 20 million citizens uh, no longer being able to use their mobile phones. So losing their mobile phones. Really? Yeah. Really? So it's like a, almost like another way of like silencing people with that because it's like, you know, mm. but, but mm, interesting. Yeah. Interesting stuff, bro. Oh, yeah. I started watching that uh, Tiger King show on Netflix. Yeah, how was that? How was that? Was it good? Fuck it. It's interesting. You know, like, he's a fucking... He's a weird guy, this Tiger dude. He's, you know, he's... You, you got you got to check it out. Anyone else who's listening and watched it, yeah, you know what I mean. It's fucking... I'm, I'm only up to episode two, but, you know, it's 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 interesting. There's, like, this this um this team at this zoo <coughs> have all these uh big cats and they like you know they they try and you know show people how like you know that that you can it it's it, it's fine to be around a big cat you know like to kind of just helping people with fears and stuff you know so it's like it's like they try and make it as fun as possible and that and meanwhile there's their nemesis is this uh, animal rights activist who's um, who's like they call like the Mother Teresa of big cats. Like she's been trying to, you know, take yeah take take uh, tigers and that off people who aren't treating them well. And it's like this big like war between between yeah this zoo and and this woman and like you know and and they keep trying to you know bring out the worst in each other. You know, tell them that. You know, because the Tiger King's like, oh, you know, well, well, she's she's doing that. She's just, you know, she's she's exploiting the tigers, by, you know, because she because she still, you know, runs her place like a zoo for people to come see. Him. It's like, okay, but <coughs> you're protecting the wildlife, but then, you know, you're just as bad as you know as these guys. You know, it's like, what what are you doing that's yeah. different? Yeah. And you know, I won't I won't say much else, but you don't but, yeah, spoil too much, brother. Don't spoil it too much, but it's, some it's, people it's, haven't it's, seen this show. Yeah, it's pretty wild though. Like the Tiger King is a is a is a crazy dude. <laughs> fair but enough, yeah, fair I found, I found yeah. out that his music, he like he he did he says and how he did a couple of albums. 
but the truth is none of them are his. <laughs> they paid oh, people to do it. <laughs> okay. Lol. Fair enough. So, you know, so that's that. Yeah. <coughs> well, oh, well, might as well wrap it up then. So I think, I think, mm-hmm. you know, I can hear the, hear the plates, hear the dinner getting ready, you know, you know Lovely hear, man. hear the, the chime of yep. deliciousness. Mm, a succulent meal. Yep. A succulent meal. Well, thanks oh, for watching, want, guys. This oh, is uh, this is pub food. Pub food. The chance. pub food. Beautiful. So this yeah. is uh, this is what we've become. Zoom. We've had to move to Zoom. So and you know, we might if, move to Discord. Might move to Discord. Mm. Maybe you know if that'll help with Joel's laptop problems. So yeah, my weak you know, so, yeah. laptop because Zoom is Zoom is so Zoom is so strong. Yeah, man. So Zoom's powerful. Just too, just... It's just too superior, man. But yeah. <laughs> Yeah, but um, yeah, and maybe I can That's fix it, this grainy quality shit as well. Yeah, well, we'll but, film you know, during the day. Is, yeah, yeah, <laughs> it is raining right now, so that doesn't help. Mm. Yeah, and you're just using. Are you, are you actually before you just had the window light? Yeah. Yep. Yeah, and there, and there I still have I still have window light. It's just so dark outside because it's raining. Oh, but you haven't got your bedroom light on as well. No, I do. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah, I thought so. Yeah. No, cool, man. This looks very cold hmm. in my area right now. Good but, stuff. Yeah. Yeah. All right, guys. Yeah. All right, guys. Talk to you soon. All right. See you later. Adios. The skeptic. Hey, Bonnie. No. <laughs> <I'm just laughs> Sorry, Bonnie. Just, just kidding. Sorry, Bonnie. <laughs> that's that's all we want to say. We just want just want to say sorry. Please forgive us. Yeah. That's all right. All right, everybody, we're out. Mm-hmm.